Hi right, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how to enable audience targeting in SharePoint Online. You may be asking, what is audience targeting? Audience targeting helps the most relevant content get to the right audiences. And where audience targeting can be enabled? Audience targeting can be enabled in navigation links. And today's video is about navigation links. Pages, news web part, highlighted content web part, quick links web part, events web part, and Viva connections. Few things to remember. The site owner must enable audience targeting for the site and Azure Active Directory groups, including security groups, Microsoft 365 groups, and Azure Active Directory dynamic groups are supported. Now I'm gonna go to my SharePoint online and I'm gonna show you how you can enable audience targeting. So right now I'm logged into the HR SharePoint online sign. And for this example, I'm trying to hide this navigation links called document from one of the users in the company. I'm going to click on edit here. And as I mentioned, because I'm the owner of the site, I have this option available for me. Enable site navigation audience targeting. By default, it's on off. So I'm going to click on on here and save. I'm going to click again, then click on the three dots that is in front of documents here. Click on edit again. There are a few options here. I can change the URL. I can change the display name. I can make it a label or leave it as link. There's another option here called audiences to target. Right now, I don't have any security group. So I'm going to go back to my Azure Active Directory, create a security group, come back here and add that group here. But for now, I'm going to keep this on. I'm here in my Azure Active Directory here. I'm gonna click on groups and then click all groups here. Then I'm gonna click on new group. For the group type, I'm gonna use security group. You can also use Microsoft 365, it's up to you. For the group name, I'm gonna call this It's always a good idea to add a group description. So I'm just gonna add this here. I'm gonna keep it as no for Azure AD roles can be assigned to the group. For the membership type, I can use dynamic users. I don't have that many users in my tenant. There are only two, so I'm gonna keep it as assigned. For owners, I'm gonna leave it blank. And for the members, which is the important part of this video. So when it comes to members, you have to remember, you're gonna add those users, you want them to see the navigation link. So if I click on no on members here, I have two users here. I have John Dill here. So if I add John to the security group, only John can see the navigation links and anyone else who are not added, they won't be able to see the link. So that's how it works. For this example, I'm gonna add this user here and if I create the, the security group and add it to my SharePoint site this user can see the navigation link for the documents everyone else in the company won't be able to see the documents navigation link on my SharePoint site so I'm gonna click on create here so I'm back to my SharePoint online site I'm here under edit navigation. I'm going to click on documents here. I'm going to click edit. Here I'm going to look for my security group that I created. I'm going to type HR. I have HR SharePoint audience targeting here. I'm going to add this. I'm going to click on OK here. And then I'm going to save. I logged in as this user and he can see the documents. Now I'm going to log in as this user. This user is not part of my security group. And let's see if this user can see the documents. So I'm gonna type the password here. I'm gonna click on HR. So I logged in as this user. I can still see home, who we are, how we work. I'm gonna click on resources, or even if I hover over resources, as you can see, there's no documents here. So what I'm doing right now, I'm targeting documents navigation link to only those users who are part of my security group. As you notice, it's very easy and it's a very useful tool. So imagine real scenario, you have an HR site, you're trying to hide or target specific part of the site to a specific group of users. It could be anyone in the company. And I've used it a lot in our company. So yeah, that's how you can use audience targeting in SharePoint online. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.